So today upgrading the ready car with a Cobb uh, um, three-port boost controller, uh, 712.750 for the 04 STI. So here we have the stock boost controller uh, that has its feed here from the uh, intake going to the bottom, and then the uh, vacuum lines here that are going to the turbo on there. So first thing is going to be to remove this bracket to access the boost controller. So the only tool is needed for this installation is a 10 millimeter socket. It's good to have a 10 millimeter flat wrench to get one of the balls that you cannot access with a big ratchet. Uh, a pair of cutters and a pair of needle nose pliers to get those uh, clamps here. Okay, so we have removed the three nuts. There is one here, one here and one at the bottom here so now the whole bracket can come out and then here you have two nuts one that i already removed here i'm going to remove the second one to extract the uh, push controls that i need so here you have the connector that i'm going to disconnect to plug on the new boost controller and you have two hoses this one that goes if you follow it here to the uh, um, inlet hose, intake inlet hose, and you have this bottom hose here that goes through here to the turbo. It's hard to see behind there, but it's the uh, vacuum line to the turbo. So we are going to disconnect this and then here in the uh, new boost control solenoid it's going to take the same connector as the stock connector and then one line is going to go same thing here to the intake and the two other lines are going to go on uh, both sides of the turbo so first step is to disconnect the uh, factory hose here that was going to the uh, stock uh, boost control solenoid so remove this one take the cup provided hose you plug it in here and you bring it to port number one of the boost controller on this side and just uh, use the supplied zip ties to secure it in place so here port number one is connected here to uh, the inlet hose port number two is going to be connected to the wastegate side of the turbo and port number three to the compressor side of the turbo. So the factory hose from the turbo here has a restrictor pill where the dot is. Inside there, there's a restrictor pill, uh, which you won't need with uh, the cub install. So that's one of the advantage of the cub install is that both ports are going to be independent, the wastegate and the uh, uh, compressor side. So here on this line, I reuse the uh, factory clamp uh, that came on the uh, original harness. It's very tight, so they provide you with zip ties like I have on uh, for the other side over there. You can see there's a zip tie there, and I have zip ties on uh, the small provided zip ties on all the ports here. That's plenty. It's just vacuum going through there, so um, it's uh, it doesn't need to be. Uh, extra strong with uh, big clamps and so you run those two hoses here compressor side and uh, wastegate side and here uh, the line going back here to, to the intake so plug the stock harness in the in the connector reattach it and now I just have to reattach a bracket and the install will be complete once you are done with the installation, the only two holes you should have left are the one that was going to the inlet hose and the one coming from the turbo to the uh, boost controller solenoid. And uh, you will have a slight piece of hose left from uh, the provided cub hose. Once you cut too length, they give you some extra. So you can always keep that for later in case you have a cut somewhere and need to do a repair. There it is. And after that, either you get an off-the-shelf tune from Cobb. It won't work with a stock tune with this uh, boost controller. So either go um, to your Pro Tune, 
Here we use TurboTech tuning uh, for all our uh, ready cars and otherwise uh, uh, you can get one of the off-the-shelf tune if you have one that works for your setup. So they complete the uh, install of the Cub uh, three-port boost controller. Uh, nice unit there. And always you can go back to the Cub documentation online for the install uh, if uh, you have issues.